Today I'm going to show you guys how you can get any custom Python package up into an AWS cloud environment. I've done this for you guys a bunch of times here on the channel so that we can implement different trading strategies up in AWS. But with this tutorial today, you're going to be able to put any code you want up in AWS. And if you prefer to read your content rather than sit through videos like this, I'll have a link down in the description to the blog where there's a full companion blog post that will take you step by step through everything that we're going to cover here today. So the prerequisites for this video, the first thing you're going to need is Python. This tutorial is going to be Python specific, but if you go down below to the blog post, and you check out some of the links that are included in the blog post, you should be able to copy paste the entire blog post and then copy paste all of the AWS documentation for something like Node.js that's available in the blog post into something like Cursor AI or ChatGPT. And that should spit out instructions for you to follow along in a similar way to the original blog post. It's really cool that we live in a world now where that's possible. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is install Python. If you haven't installed Python, I have a link up in the cards and down in the description to a video that I did a couple of years ago that shows you how to install Python on on any operating system. And so once you've gone ahead and done that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have pip installed and virtual environment. If you don't have virtual environment, you can just type pip install virtual env and it should download the latest package for you. And now we're ready to get started with the tutorial. So we're going to make a new folder and we're gonna call it Lambda Layer Project. And then we'll change directory into that new folder. Next, we're gonna set up our virtual environment by typing virtual env venv. And then next, we're going to activate our virtual environments. Next, within this folder, we're gonna do mkdir and python. It's really important that you name this folder python. I've had lots of trouble with this, getting it to work for myself. And every time it didn't work, it was because I didn't name this folder python. And I imagine that there are other structural restrictions like this for stuff like Node.js. Next, you're gonna to wanna to install any packages that you might wanna use up in AWS. So for example, a lot of people wanna use the requests module up in AWS and it doesn't come in AWS by default. So in that case, you would pip install requests and target this Python folder that we just created. But in my case, I'm going to be installing my Coinbase Advanced Trade Python package that I personally wrote that is a Python wrapper for the Coinbase Advanced Trade API. And if you wanna learn more about that project, I'll have a link up in the cards and down in the description. So we'll go ahead and run this big command here, targeting to install Coinbase Advanced Trade Python in that Python package, the Python folder rather. So now if we do LS and we see the Python folder, and we just cd into the Python folder, we should see that all of those packages that I wanted to install got installed. You don't have to cd into Python or LS or do any of the stuff, but just as a proof of concept, you can see that the things that I wanted to have installed were installed. So now I'm back up in the folder directory and you wanna be executing this next command from this Lambda layer project level. So you have your Python folder and your VENV folder sitting right there next to each other. And now what you're gonna do is just zip up the contents of that Python folder into a zip file called layer.zip. And that's the command here on screen that's gonna do that. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. And so now it has zipped up all of that information that was in that Python folder and put it conveniently, if we do LS, into a single folder or into a single file rather called layer.zip. And next, all we have to do is manually upload that file to AWS. So next we're gonna head over here to AWS and we're going to find a function that I've written that needs that Coinbase Advanced Trade module to execute the stuff that's happening within the function. So we'll navigate over this function and we'll see that I'm importing from Coinbase Advanced Trader two different functions that I'm using within my Lambda function. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we're seeing that there are no layers or external code packages that are made available to this function that I've written. So if we scroll up here and we click on test, it's going to give us an error saying, I don't know what Coinbase Advanced Trader is because you haven't given me any information about what that module is or how it works. And so now let's go back to Lambda and over two layers here on the left and create a layer full of that information that we just zipped up on our computers so that now this function is going to work. So I'll call this YouTube demo Coinbase. And then next I'll upload the zip file. So I'll head over to that folder that we created and I'll click on this layer.zip that we generated and I'll click on open. Next, the computer I generated this on was an ARM64 and I was using Python 3.9 for my development environment. Next, we can go ahead and click on create and it's showing that we've successfully created our layer here on AWS. So now if we click back onto Lambda, we can click back to functions. We can open the function that I was just editing. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we can add our new layer. And we'll choose the custom layer here, YouTube demo Coinbase, the one that we just created. And we'll click on version one and click on add. And so now when we go ahead and test our code, we shouldn't be getting that error anymore. It should understand what that Coinbase advanced trade module is and it should be able to execute the code. So let's go ahead and click on test. And there we go. It successfully placed a limit order. You can see the error message up here was that we don't have a Lambda function or a Lambda handler within the Lambda function. Just to prove that this worked, we can now head over to Coinbase and see that a sell order was actually placed for $15 
dollars at this price of thirty six thousand one hundred and forty seven. And we're seeing over here that it should be Bitcoin USD and it should be actually a sell order and not a buy order. So heading over to Coinbase, we can click on orders and we can in fact see that our $15 limit sell for exactly that price and exactly that amount of Bitcoin was open just now. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. This is really a fundamental piece of like the programming stack is how can I get different programming modules up into a cloud environment and then run automations on these functions. So now that I have this function written, I can come in here and mess with these schedules and then I can run this every day. And in this case, what I've written is a very, very short, very simple function that is basically saying when a lot of the market in Bitcoin specifically thinks that the price is really high and everyone is feeling greedy, then I'm going to sell. And when everyone else is feeling fearful and they're like, oh no, the price is going to go lower, then I'm going to buy. Playing into the age old Warren Buffett maxim of be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. Check out this video way over here to learn more about how we use AWS on this channel and check out the video directly above me to learn more about this specific script that I implemented. I love you all. See you next week.